week's feast. Butterbeer. Abracadabra. Spiller. Spilliar. You took my wand. Yeah. I know. I'm playing with it. <laughs> On this week's feast. Butterbeer. I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Mmm, what better day to drink butterbeer than Christmas? Here's our heroes drinking at the Three Broomsticks Inn. I've heard that butterbeer used to be just that, combining butter with beer. That might be something Hermione might know, but she's too busy acting. Stop it. Stop. Look at her act so hard. The butterbeer we'll be making consists of two things. One, delicious butterbeer, and two, delicious foam. We're gonna make three kinds, cold, slushy, and hot. Now before you begin, place some mugs in the freezer to chill them. No magic necessary. To make the foam, you're gonna need six tablespoons of sugar, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, one cup of heavy cream, and two teaspoons of artificial butter flavoring. In a large mixing bowl, add the sugar, vanilla extract, and a cup of heavy cream. Mix it all together. Woo! With the mixer. A little bit of elbow grease. I make her do the work because she's a woman and it's the kitchen. And he's a gentleman. <laughs> Actually, just use a genderless KitchenAid. Whip on a medium to high speed until you get soft peaks. This can take anywhere from two to four minutes. Now for the butter beer, you can use any kind of cream soda that you like. You're also gonna need some butterscotch caramel topping and for the hot version, brown sugar and milk. Now if you can drink legally, feel free to add some butterscotch schnapps or rum. First, let's make the chilled version. Gently pour out your cream soda into a frosted mug, add a tablespoon of butter flavoring, and mix that sucker up. To top it off, just have Chef Ashley add some of your foam to the top and you are set. To make the slushy version, you're gonna need a blender. Throw in a tablespoon of butterscotch caramel. Yes. Yes. Yes, the magic. Can you feel the... Alright. Next, add a cup of ice and cream soda, then blend that sucker until it is frothy. Again, no magic necessary. Pour that concoction out into your glass, top it off with foam, and you are finished. To make the hot version of this drink for those cold winter days, heat your stove to medium, pour out a glass of milk, and add it to the pot. After your liquid's warmed up, add in a tablespoon of butterscotch caramel and a tablespoon of brown sugar. Stir it up until it's mixed in, and make sure it doesn't get too hot or you won't be able to drink it. Once again, into the glass it goes, and have Ashley top it off with some foam. This is by far my favorite version of the drink. Hocus PP Pocus! We have created three kinds of butterbeer, and to help us taste it, we have enlisted fellow YouTubers, wizard rockers, and countrymen alike. And if you would like to make this an adult beverage, all you have to do is add butterscotch schnapps as much as you want. I encourage you to add a lot. So let's see how we did. Yeah. To Hogwarts! <laughs> to Hogwarts! Those were the yeah. days! Oh. Look, but look at us now! <laughs> <laughs> This yummy butter beer, cold or hot, is sweet and delicious. I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> this is Ethan Newberry. And Ashley. I'm Ron Weasley. Cheers. <laughs>